Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Today we have got a FIFA 15 potential cards and ratings video featuring Chiellini, Di Maria and Tevez. So, a pretty awesome episode this time. If you have any suggestions, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section and I'll see what I can do about predicting those. You guys have had some amazing suggestions and it's given me some really cool ideas. Now, before we get started, if you're looking for a place to get some coins, check the link in the description for the fifashop.co.uk, a place where they have awesome prices. And if you use the code SOBY10, you do in fact get a further discount, which is always really, really nice. Makes buying coins just a little bit cheaper. So let's jump into the first player and we're gonna start off with Chiellini and this is his current card on FIFA 14 86 rated 77 pace 86 defending and 82 heading being his key stats obviously a center back for Juventus and it's a really good card very cheap very affordable good for hybrids because he's got some fantastic perfect links and I think this is what his card is going to change to on FIFA 15 now you may disagree with me on this and to be honest, I don't think he should be downgraded either, but on head-to-head, -head, he's an 84 rated. On the World Cup game mode, he's also 84 rated. 31 games, 18 clean sheets, 91 pass accuracy. That's amazing. For those that are also saying, why are you just reeling off stats? I feel like it's a better way to kind of prove a player's performance because if I just go, oh, there's one time we made this amazing pass, it's not exactly proof, is it? So I personally don't think he should get downgraded, but I have a feeling the EA are going to do it anyway. I don't think he should, but 85 is still going to be pretty good, and I think that's going to be some of the changes to his card. Next up is Di Maria, an 86 rated right mid at the moment. 90 pace, 78 shooting, 83 passing, 86 dribbling, along with 58 defending and 60 heading. Not that those stats really matter, but he's a very good card. He was pretty expensive at the start, and he's not exactly cheap at the moment. I think his card is going to stay an 86. It could, could possibly drop to an 85, but to be honest, I don't think he really deserves a downgrade. I don't think he's been worse than the last season at all. In fact, I think... I think he had more goals last season, if I remember correctly, but this time he's had more assists, so he's been helping out the team a lot more and getting the assists in instead. Now, his position has actually varied a little bit throughout the season for Real Madrid. I think, as far as I remember, I think he's played a few games next to Modric in more of an attacking mid position. He's also played on the left-hand side, but I think he's generally going to stay as a right wing on FIFA 15. He's played the majority of his games there, as far as I can remember. Now, let's move on to the final player of the episode, and that is Carlos Tevez, currently an 86 rated striker with 81 pace, 85 shooting, 72 heading and 84 dribbling along with a very solid stat of 77 passing which is pretty good now. I do believe he was fairly expensive at the start of FIFA 15 and I think he will be again simply because he's generally a very good striker. Now this is what I believe his FIFA 15 card will be. Again an 86 rated striker. Pace isn't really going to change. Shooting plus one, passing plus one and dribbling plus one. The other stats are probably going to stay the same. He's had a good season. 34 games. 19 goals, 8 assists, which is pretty good. He could possibly even be upgraded to an 87 because I think he had a much better season than he did last time. I think his work rates are going to stay the same as well. But overall, a pretty good card might be fairly expensive at the start. So that wraps up this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like and leave any comments down below of who you'd like to see next. But drop the video a comment and subscribe for some more for myself. But take care, guys. Have an amazing day and goodbye.